Hello, you know, do you hear me nice and clear? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Oh, uh, wonderful. Good evening. Thank you so much for Good being teacher. here. Good evening. I hope you're okay. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we have Monday, as you may see, right? Beautiful Monday. So, um, that's what we got for today. This is going to be today's session. Okay. So, we're going to work with sequence adverbs on this class, which is number 12. Okay. So, thank you so much for being here. Uh, welcome. Good evening. It's nice to see you one more time. Some of you are you're working, right? I guess so, right? Some of you are still at work. Okay, so that means, sorry for you. Okay, still working at this time. Uh, and here we are, right? Trying to get something new. Trying to have a little bit of practice on this one. Um, so we're gonna have with sequency words, that's the one we're gonna work. And thank you so much. I was checking the, um, uh, the platform and congrats to the ones that we have everything done already uh, with section number four, right? So very good. You're doing a really nice job on that one. So keep, keep doing so, okay? Because everything you're doing is working very well, okay? So uh, thank you so much for being on time with the activities that we have at the platform. Don't forget that you have some of them over there and uh you gotta do those right so um i suggest for the ones that haven't done yet uh, those activities um uh, do it right and be on time with with, them, with the assignments available um, over there okay so um let me see okay here hello Mina. good evening how are you? You good? Tell me. Hello, tell me. Uh, Hebel. So what? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, let's begin. We're going to start with this picture. Okay. We're going to have Juan Jose. Which is Juan Jose? Oh, no, it's Juan David. I'm sorry. Juan David Madrid Belén. Okay. I apologize. Okay, I apologize. Okay, tell me, what do you see here in the picture? Okay, in the picture I see um, the, the good champion. In the first, in the first one, the good champion. Uh, um, the second one, as uh, what is I, what is I, batir? Oh, like like mix or yeah. Eight um, there, okay. Yes. In the in the three one, I um uh, I see um I put a uh, uh, salt in the soap. Uh, four the picture is um French uh, eight one or omelette and five is 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 tortilla omelette probably uh Juan David, thank you so much yeah that's true right do you think this thing is easy to do or difficult to do Juan David? For, for, uh, in, the case, in my case, is is um uh, but you eat um for uh made in rellenos one one my my mom. You know the pacaya, right? Yes, I I I say please help me now. So I um, um I I I but. And the talk about beer, um, and, beer. Eat, and yeah, beer, beer, a beer, no, 
steer. A steer, a steer, a D8. And, and it's difficult for me. I don't, don't, it's big. <laughs> I understand, I understand. Thank you so much. Juan David, that's very good. What about you, Maricela? Is this uh, thing easy for you when you see these pictures or it looks difficult for you? Maricela Flores? Oh, sorry, did you? Um, no, no, it is difficult. Okay. Uh, what is the name of this recipe? A uh, bowl. Okay. Thank you so much. So you know what is the food we are cooking here in these pictures, uh, Maricela? Omelette. Okay. How often do you eat this? Mm, sometime. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Are you good at cooking, Ronald Alexi? Excuse me, teacher. Are you good at cooking? Um. Yes. Okay. What's your favorite recipe that you do a lot? Uh, my favorite recipe. This is one of my uh, favorite recipe, make a uh, omelet. But um, I'm not able to finish as well because when I have to turn the 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 omelet, um, the most of time always is is um, is out for the for for the sides. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe with practice, yes. I can give you practice a little bit more. Yes. Actually, actually, for the chef, this is the most difficult recipe to do. Oh, really? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Because a good omelette uh, needs to be uh, certain um, aspects to to uh, for for. Uh, uh, is need needs to have uh, something aspects to um, I don't know how can I say that but in a nutshell okay. the omelette need, needs to be fluffy yes. inside yes. it needs to be uh, a sponge outside Gosh. and uh, just that <laughs> I can say just just that about this. this yeah, in here in El Salvador, everything is overcooked, right? Everything is overcooked, as far as I know, right? Yes, Ronald, thank you so much for sharing that. That sounds interesting. Yeah, I'm intrigued on that one. Yeah. What about you? Let me see. Tell me. Hello, Delhi. Good evening. How are you? You good? Are you okay? Yes. Yeah. Roxana Elizabeth here. Yeah. Hello, Roxana. Good evening. Oh, teacher. Good evening. How, how are you? Fine. Sounds good. What is your favorite recipe? The one that you cook a lot. Um, I every day make eggs, um, eggs revueltos. What do you okay. say? Yes. Does anybody know how do we say uh, eggs uh, revueltos? Let's crumble um, eggs. Let's crumble, yeah. Let's crumble eggs. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yes. Is that easy for you or is that some have difficult to make? It's super easy. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear Obviously. that? Obviously. Super, <laughs> that, was, that was super easy, right? Oh, that was, that's, you know, that means, you know, right? That was easy, easy. <laughs> That's true. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay. Very we good. We're going to work okay. a little bit with uh, this uh, vocabulary. Okay. We have kitchen appliances, cooking utensils, and cooking ingredients. Okay. We're going to put them in order according to the way they go. Okay. Let's work with kitchen appliances. What are those kitchen appliances that we have at home?
I stop. Stop. I stop. stop. Okay, very good. What else? Refrigerator. Okay. Oven. Oh, refrigerator. We have it here. What is oh, another oh, way? Oh, oh, so what, is an, what is another oven. way of saying refrigerator? An oven. An oven. Very good. But the question is, what is another way of saying oh, Jesus? Jesus, Jesus. Give me a minute, see? Yeah, let's move to the other one. Okay. What is another way of saying refrigerator? Fridge. Ah, that's a good one, right? Fridge. Okay. Yes. When we don't want to say the full word, we can say fridge. Okay. Go with that one. Okay. Oh, you told me an oven, right? Oh, look at that one. Thank you. What else? No microwave. Cream pan. A microwave. Okay. My a fry is pan. Microwave. Is it this one? Yes. Yeah, microwave. Microwave. That's a good one. Very good. Thank you. What about cooking utensils? What are those? A knife. A knife. <laughs> hey. Hey, nice. Okay. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> that's nice. That's a good one. That's nice. Thank a frying pan. Frying pan, right? Very good. Frying pan. Uh, an baking oil. Baking dish. Excuse me? Baking dish. Oh. Baking dish. A bacon. Very good. A bacon. A uh, dish. So will you will you put this thing in the oven, right? You can cook something delicious. Bacon dish, thank you. What about with cooking ingredients? Flour. Okay, Oil. Very good. Flour, very good. Uh, oil, very good. Oh, butter. Butter. Butter, very good. Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Okay, bread. Uh, um, yeah. um, that is my time. And what else? Salt, oh, just tell me, right? Okay. Salt. So, okay, so, um, yeah. Hey, Ronald, thank you. Teacher, uh, it's raining very hard here, and my sink along roof is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's working. It's making it's too much noise. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, <laughs> I have a bunch of laminas here as well. So, uh, I hope, I hope we can have a normal class. Okay, thank you so much for sharing that. Sorry. Okay. To hear that. okay. So these are like things related to um cooking, right? as you may see. If you want to cook, well, basically you must have at least one of those. You want to do something at home. Why? Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, this one is good. I'm trying some breadcrumbs. Okay. Uh, question for you, Anna, Anna Martinez. Anna Beatriz Martinez. Question for you. How often how often do you use the oven when you cook? Excuse me? I, I don't hear you. I don't know if the rest of you hear uh Anna Beatriz. Okay, do you hear Anna Beatriz? She's speaking. Yes, uh, she's she's speaking. Hear. She's speaking. I, I don't hear your voice. Okay, speak. Speak, Ana Beatriz. Are, are you speaking? Because I, I don't, I don't hear you. Yeah, I don't know if that's my computer, but I, I don't hear your voice. Yeah. She's speaking, yeah. teacher. Yes. Oh, yes, but I don't hear her. I don't hear her voice. I, oh my gosh! I'm sorry. I apologize. Maybe that's my computer, but I don't hear your voice. Eh, Juan David, Madrid. Hello, speak. Hola, hola. Hola, yeah. estamos hablando, teacher. Yeah, I hear you. 
I hear you, but not I, I don't I don't hear Ana Beatriz Martinez. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Ana Beatriz. Ella está, eh, sí, a ella se le escucha bien cuando habla. Yo la escucho perfectamente. Yeah, but I don't I don't know what's happening with my computer, but I don't I don't hear you, Ana Beatriz. I, I'm sorry, so I need to. Uh, your computer is discriminating. <laughs> Just because he's white, okay. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Anna, but yeah, I don't, I don't hear you. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah, but let me. It's like, um, yeah. Uh, Sandra, hello. Good evening, Sandra. I think Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. You see, Good I job. hear Sandra. Yes, Patricia Esmeralda. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, you <laughs> yes, I, I hear Esmeralda as well. Daniela, hello, how are you? Carranza. Hello, teacher. See, I hear her, but not you, Ana Beatriz. I don't know what's happening. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I apologize because I don't I don't know what's happening, but yeah, nothing comes. So let's work with um you, Patricia. Okay. Garcia. Uh, how often do you use the oven when you cook? Patricia, uh, Esmeralda Garcia, hello. <laughs> do you hear me? Hello, hello, teacher. Oh, hello. Right now. Oh, is, is it raining at, at home? Raining. Oh, I'm sorry. Raining. Okay, okay. I, I will move on with somebody else, okay? Thank you so much for letting me know. Uh, Mirna Landos. Hello, Mirna. Good. Good evening. Okay, but very good. Yes. Uh, Mirna, do you hear me, Mirna? Hello, teacher. Good Hello. evening. Mirna, an oven. How often do you use the oven when you cook? Um, I stop. Uh, no, the an oven. An oven. ¿Sabe qué es un oven? Uh, no. Okay. Un oven es cuando usted va a hacer el chumpe, right? Yes. Y lo va a hacer horneado. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Entonces usted utiliza el oven para pues hornearlo ahí. Yeah. An oven. Okay. Entonces yo le pregunto, how often, how often do you use the oven when you cook? The oven es a menudo. Uh, right? Ah, entonces me está preguntando por el, el como el, 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 el cosito que se ocupa. El, el oven, el horno. How often do you use the oven? Ah, ok. Um, tiene que ser... En aquí, uh, a kitchen appliances. Kitchen no, appliances. Digo, appliances. That, that the kitchen appliance, but the question is, ¿qué tan a menudo? How often do you use the oven cuando cocina? Um, every day. Oh, every day, the oven? Yes. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yes. Very good. Incredible. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Um, question for... Let me see. Uh, Daniela. Hello, Daniela. Good evening. Yes, teacher. Nice to have you. I can yeah. have it. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Listen, uh, when you cook, what is something that you don't like? Something that I don't like. Mm. Yeah. Well, when I cook on, on the stove and I turn turn it on i don't like use matches because you have the sticks all over the stove and that's it's dirty looks dirty so i use a how do you say how can you say a lighter that's right for that to and also help me to keep more keep it longer clean the stove Because, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, men, we don't clean like the stuff, right? Men, we don't do that. Right? Uh, it, it's not because we, we are not able to do that. Right? Because 
I can, what about you? What about you? <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. I I I don't hear very good. I I hear I hear yeah, very sounds, far, far, far. It sounds a little far, teacher. Thank you. It's like I don't know. We have a bunch of poetes near to my house, so uh, that's why I'm using this one. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing that. Let's me show you the following video. So we can have the grammar content of today's class. Let's listen and watch. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, Finally, similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb we use then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter and finally fry the bread until it's brown on both sides and what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explain in this case a food recipe we use sequence adverbs to do this and so as I mentioned we use first we use then we use next we use after that and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together, then toast the slices of bread, then spread the mixture on the toast, then put the sandwich in a pan with butter, then 
try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain. And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then next and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together. Next, toast the slices of bread. After that, so they could be interchangeable. There's no rule that says that uh, then it needs to come after first. You can use those three interchangeably. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe. And I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your idea. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. So uh, if you notice, right, we have this um, sequency adverse. Yes, these things are like very easy um, to use, as you may see. Is this not fantastic? Excuse me? Step by step. Step by step, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Pretty much that's that's the thing, right? It's, it's not something difficult. Most of the time, most of the time we use this one when it comes to uh, talking about uh, food, right? Where we need to follow some steps of some procedures uh, where we can like, I don't know, do it like, clearly, you know what I mean? So we can mix all the things so we don't... <laughs> messed up the, the ingredients of, of the recipe, right? So that's why we have it first, then next, after that, and finally. Sometimes, sometimes we use this thing in a passage or in a paragraph. When we are doing a paragraph or like telling something, right? Um, so for example, if you're talking about nature or if you want to talk about, I don't know, uh the economics or if you want to talk about the education you can start uh, using this sequency adverbs to communicate the different examples or the different ideas that you have but right now we're just focusing on uh, when it comes to a recipe okay yes uh if you see here it's like a bunch of stuff uh and and we don't have a complete sentences we just have like phrases okay uh, so uh, let me see where is this here. Uh, Patricia Esmeralda. Ah, no, Patricia is like it's raining over there. Okay, thank you, no problem. Uh, Melvin, hello, Melvin. You participate? Yes. Melvin, can you participate? Yes. Hello, teacher. Thank you, Melvin. Can you please read this information that we have here about the sequence adverse? Thank you. Yes, sequence adverbs first, uh, boil the macaroni in a large pot, then melt the butter on medium heat. Next, add the cheese. After that, add the cooked uh, macaroni. Finally, bake for 20 minutes. That's it? Yes, perfect. Thank you so much, right? So if you see okay. here, we have a picture. One, two, three, four, five pictures in total, right? Where we have a bunch of steps that we need to follow. Yes. Um, yes, I've got my combo cover this one. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, tell me, please, we're going to complete this exercise. First, we have chops on lips, parsley, and cheese. What is the next step that we need to do? What is the next step? So then. Then, then boil a pot of water. So this one. So this is going to be then. Okay, sorry. Then. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, what is the other one? After that. After that. Yes, but where, what is the verb that goes with after that? Mm -hmm. hmm? After that, after that, or some goes, 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 goes into the hot water. Oh, okay, so it's going to be a next. Next is the next one. Yeah, this one. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Next. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. next. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the other one? Then we have after that, and then finally. Now it's after that. that. Couscous and let it cool. Drain the couscous and let it cool. Oh, after that. Okay, thank you. After that. Yes. And then we have the other one is finally, right? Finally. finally. Okay. Oh, Jesus, I forgot. <laughs> finally. Okay. Sarai, thank you. Can you please read the recipe? Thank you so much. Um, first, chop some olives, parsley, and cheese. And then, Boil a pot of water and next pour some cosco into the hot water and let it sit for uh, 10 minutes. And after that, drain the cosco and let it cool. And finally, toast the cooked cosco with olive, olives and parsley and cheese. Thank you so much. Okay. So if you see, right, it's, it's not, well, if you're good at cooking, right, if you're good at cooking, that will be, this will be easy for you. Yeah. Uh, but uh, for the ones that like, it's, it's not easy to cook, like myself, that, that will be like somehow difficult. Okay. But of course, um, I just buy food. That's what I do. Okay. Okay. May I mess? I'm going to take the attendance. Please, when you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Um, Camilo Rivera. Camilo anunció que tiene una dificultad, teacher. Oh. Eh, está de luto. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry to hear that. That's not good. Oh, thank you so much for letting me know. Um, And I'm sorry about it. Ana Beatriz Martinez de Lopez. You're here, right, Ana Beatriz? Use the emoji, just the emoji, because because I don't, I, I'm still not hearing your, your mic. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but that's 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 not good. Okay, Cesar Aparicio. Cesar, no, he isn't. Thank you. Darwin Blanco. No, he isn't. Delmi Amaya. Hello, Delmi. Hello, teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening, welcome. Efrain Emilio Acevedo. Mm -hmm. Efrain Emilio Acevedo. No, okay, okay, thank you. Uh, Stephanie Saray Martinez. Here, teacher. Thank you so much. Franklin Magaña. Hello, Franklin. No, he isn't. Geraldine. Chacon. Thank you, Geraldine. Welcome. Hevel Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Nice to have you one more time. Ingrid Maricela Flores. Present teacher. Good evening and welcome. Irma Segura. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Jesus Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Jose Alejandro Vaquerano. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Juan David, you're here, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, Catherine? 
Hello, Catherine. Do you hear me nice and clear? Catherine? No, she is. No, Kiroki. Let's carry on with Kevin Flores. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Kevin. Lucia Cepeda? Lucia Cepeda? No, she is. Uh, Melvin? I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. And nice to have you. Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniela. Milagro de la Paz. I think you. I'm here, sir. Thank you. I saw you working. Okay. I'm sorry to hear about yes, it. Yes, sir. I'm working. Yeah. You're a responsible person, right? It's good. <laughs> Mirna Janet Landos. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Nice to have you. Good evening. Nelson Ceron. Nelson, no, he isn't. What about Patricia Garcia? Patricia. Yes, Thank you so much. Uh, Patricia Castellanos. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome. Uh, Ronald is here, right? Uh, Roxana Diaz. Yes, teacher. Thank you so much, Roxana. San Sandra Asensio. Hello, Sandra. No, she isn't. And Sandra Rivas Portillo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you, people. Just give me a minute. Let me check the chat on Zoom really quick. Uh, Emilio. Okay, Emilio. Thank you so much. Ahorita. Yes. Uh, there, there, there you go. Uh, let me see. Um, yes. Uh, Kevin Flores, right? Also Kevin Flores. Give me a minute. Yes. Um, Sandra Asensio. Ahorita Sandra, just give me a minute. Sandra Asensio, very good. Okay, so I did it already. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, what is that thing? Okay. 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 Let me see. Okay, so here we have the recipe that we got at the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, the first thing is slide the mushroom. What is the second thing that we need to do? Or let me tell you, what is the sequencing word that goes next? Mm -hmm. Then beat the eggs in a bowl is the second. Oh, oh, okay. Then you told me? Be, beat the eggs in a bowl is the second one. Oh, okay. This one. Okay, very good. What is the next sequence of word? Number three. Next, add yes. salt and pepper to the eggs. So to the eggs mixture. Okay, very good. Thank you. What is the other one? After that, into frying. Yes, very good. Easy, right? And the last one is going to be number five. Okay, easy. Very good. Now, Sandra, please, can you tell me the recipe, please? What are the steps that I need to follow? Sandra Rivas. Hello, hello. Sandra. Hello, teacher. Can you repeat, please? Yes, please tell me the steps that I need to follow to make this recipe. Okay. So, number one, two, uh, three, four, and five. Number one. Uh huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Number one is first. Mm -hmm. So you need to read, read me, read the step, the steps. Read, read. Yes, yes, please. Okay. Uh, in number two, then be the the eggs in a bowl. No, I'm sorry. Let's begin with number one, please. Thank you. Uh, first. 
Number one, fish like the mushrooms. And number two, then beta X in a bowl. Is correct? Yes, continue. Number three, next add salt and pepper to the X mixture. And number four, after that, put the eggs into a fry and pan. Add the mushroom and cook. And number finally, number five, and finally for the omelette in half, your omelette is ready. Enjoy. Is right. Everything is correct. That's very good. A few mistakes in pronunciation, but you did it very good. Okay. So this is the way, right? We prepare an omelette at home. It looks very difficult. Yes, it looks very. It's very. It looks very difficult, right? Um, because you need to do all these things, right? Oh, you says you need to fold the omelette in half. Oh, that's that's the difficult part with the, like Alexis was talking about. Yeah. That part is the difficult one, like fold the omelette like uh, in half. So that's that's the difficult. Uh, absolutely no, Ana Beatriz. Absolutely no. I'm I'm terrible at cooking. Yeah, the, I, I'm, I don't do that. Uh, I'm I'm sorry, but like there are like some specific things that um I cannot do. Yeah, and cooking is is like I just can't just make like um scrambled eggs. Uh, beings sometimes, but uh, just that, just a, a, a little breakfast and a little bit of uh, dinner. But when it comes to lunch, I just buy a hamburger or like, uh, I don't know, like a salad because I'm terrible at cooking. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to give you some time so you can like tell me the way you cook, right? Like in the morning or in the afternoon, how you at home, you cook your own food. Okay, describe your favorite way to cook eggs. This is about you, right? Because as you may know, sometimes we use different ingredients at home when it comes to cooking. We're gonna use the sequence words so you can tell me the step that uh, you do this. Yes, I'm gonna give Pretty you- sure I Pretty sure break, break the egg. <laughs> Just get a fry pan and, and put some eggs there, <laughs> a little bit of salt. And there you go, right? <laughs> Nothing much. Don't 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 add oil because I don't have I don't have oil. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's good. Yes. So I'm gonna give you some time. I'm gonna give you some time. I'm gonna give you uh eight minutes so you can like describe really quick how do you cook your uh your food at home, right? In this case, we have eggs, right? How do you do that? Yes. Use the sequence of verbs so you can practice right first, then next after that and finally okay this one you can do it in your notebook and after eight minutes i will ask you uh participation do you do you understand at home do you understand yes. oh yes Ronda Alexi, and coffee and coffee yeah. that's i use the microwave i use the microwave okay two minutes <laughs> to cook okay
it's raining here in my, in my canton, so I need to check the audio. ¿Cómo estamos ahí? ¿Me escuchan bien? Nice and clear. Yeah, I think your sounds yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, thank you, because it's raining here in my chamba. So uh, if you have a question, if you have a question, let me know. We're working with a recipe, right? That's what we're doing. Use the sequence words so you can uh, let us know what is the first thing that you need to do or we got to do if we want to cook them. If you if you're ready, let me know anytime. If you wanna participate, if you wanna be first, right? I would like to hear uh, Jesus Eduardo. I don't know Jesus if you have the chance to participate today with this recipe. Okay. Also. Also, Melvin, I would like to hear your participation. Cesar, Alejandro, I would like to hear your participation as well. Also, Heather. Tengo serias diferencias con el proceso. <laughs> it's, just, it's just one verb for a step, right? <laughs> like first, okay, get the pan. Then, <laughs> get the next. Uh, after that, I oh, know, next, right? Next one is good. First, then, next, after that, yeah. So just one verb per step. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. Okay. <laughs> Alexis wasn't kidding. He was saying about the raining. That was very hard. Uh, right? And, and he wasn't kidding. That's, it's a heavy rain here. Absolutely. Um. <laughs> Can you hear me, teacher? Uh, yeah, it's raining, right? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> it's raining. Yes, it's raining a lot. <laughs> yeah. um, let me see. Uh, Hevel, thank you so much, Hevel. Very good. Very good. Oh, Hevel, but you are using just first and then, and then finally. What I want you to do, Hevel, is, is use this one. You know what I mean? We have five sequence words. Five sequence words, right? First, then, next, after that, and finally, right? So you can use this, this five sequence uh, words uh, when it comes to communicate your rest. Yeah? I know that I get it when you say then and then, but 
Uh, the idea is you can use different words to communicate that. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Uh, Daniela, that's wonderful. So, oh, yes, that's <laughs> I love it. I love it, Daniela. Okay. <laughs> Teacher, uh, I'll go to the garden to enter my ropa. I'll come oh, in a few minutes. Get go get it. Go get it. Okay. Go get it. <laughs> Okay, you finish? Uh, Geraldine, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, please, go ahead. First, put oil or butter, uh, butter. Then, I add onion, tomatoes. Next, add salt and pepper. After that, I stir and finally, I add grated cheese. Oh, very good, very good, uh, Geraldine. That is correct. Everything is perfect. Uh, there is one thing because you use the uh the personal pronoun I. Yes, you say I. Uh, so don't use that. Okay, don't use I. Just just use the verb. Just use the verb. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Teacher. Perfect. It was everything is wonderful. Sandra Rivas. <laughs> okay. Very good. Then is with N. Check the spelling, Sandra. Check the spelling of then. Okay, Sandra. Uh, let me see. Very good. Also, pan, the word pan, which is like casserole, right? Pan. What is that one? I don't find it here. Check the spelling with that one. Uh, okay. Very good. Okay, yes, very good. Just check the spelling with, with those words, okay? Uh, let me hear. Uh, and, no. Okay. Cesar, can you participate today? Hello, Cesar. Can you hear me? No? Okay. Roxanne. Roxanne. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Please. Are you ready? My favorite way, well, I'm yes. sorry. Uh -huh. The way you cook, the way you cook egg at home, right? The way you cook egg. Okay. Um, my favorite way to prepare eggs is to uh, scramble them. Uh, the first that I do is to put the eggs in a boil. Then I add a little salt. And then I add oregano. Um, after that, I put the butter in the pan. And, and I put a little garlic. And then I scramble them for three or four minutes. That's it. Thank you so much. That's very nice. That's very nice. Yeah. It sounds delicious, right? So uh yes. perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see. Okay. I'm gonna edit it. Okay, very good. Uh, Nelson, let me see if you have a mic, Nelson, so I can hear your participation. Um Nelson doesn't have a mic or so Kevin doesn't have a mic. Um Sandra Asensio. Can you participate today, Sandra Asensio? Sandra? No? Okay. Um, okay. Mirna, Mirna Janet, can you participate, Mirna Janet? Hi, teacher. Thank you. Please tell me. Uh, Le explico como me gustan los huevos. <laughs> exact. How do you cook egg at home? Ah, uh, okay. Um, first, uh, uh, Put water to boil. Um, cook for 10 minutes. 
Eh, pero de 10 de 10 minutes are for boiling eggs. That's good. Thank you. Sounds good. Okay. What what do you do next? What? What do you do next? ¿Qué hace después? What do you do next? Um <laughs> well, uh Los pelos, pero no sé cómo decir pelar. How do we say that in English? Anybody? Ah, ok. Eh, Any, las más. <laughs> ok. Eh, eh, mm, eso sí me cuesta. Eh, echarle sal y comerlo en rodajas. <laughs> oh, ok, ok. So you peel them, right? You peel them. Uh, and then you put a little bit of salt, like like salt B, right? And then oh, okay. and then you chop them, right? And and then you eat them. Okay. okay. Sounds healthy. Okay. Sounds healthy, right? Sounds healthy. Thank you so much. Very delicious. good. Delicious. Yeah, and delicious. Exactly, right? Yes. Thank you. Sarai, you're next. Thank you, Sarai. <laughs> Okay, first uh, put oil to the frying pan, then cook some tomato, onion, and pepper, and next add the tomato, onion, pepper to the frying pan. After that, put the eggs and salt, and I mix them, and finally sear, serve the eggs in a plate. Thank you so much. Everything is perfect, Sarai. Wonderful. Great job. Okay, so that was well explained. Thank you. Very good. Can I have a please? Sorry. Thank you. Now, uh, let me ask Milagro de la Paz. Can you participate? Tell me yes or no. That's, that's okay. I'm here, sir. Can you do it? Or are you picking up? <laughs> uh, I can try, sir. Oh, you but see I'm here. not completely sure. <laughs> What's your favorite food? What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Yeah. It's spaghetti. Is it easy to make? Yeah, it's easy. It's easy, yeah. How often do you how often do you eat that? Every week. Oh. Two or um, three times every week. Oh, that sounds sounds pretty interesting, right? You have yeah. money. Oh. Now I mean she's saving money, right? She's saving money. Yeah, because because and that's like if you love that thing, that she save you money. That's very good. I I love them. Oh, what what is what is your like the things that you put there? Like, what are the some ingredients that you say? Oh, I will need to add this one too. Um, to the spaghetti. Yeah. I I always add vegetable and chicken, oh. or vegetables and meat. Now I get in why you like them. Mm -hmm. And I add um a little bit a, a little bit salt and meal and cream. You see that one day? Yeah, that sounds you can eat yeah, it. You can it, it's very that. expensive for me. <laughs> and cheese. <laughs> no, because it's like if you have all those ingredients in it, that sounds delicious, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you can yes. have it. Yeah, I mean, with all and, of it. It's, it's two, gourmet. It's, it's, it's not very version in Salvadorian. And two or three uh, uh, slices of eggs. Good. That's good. Yeah, because I don't like I don't like spaghetti. Let me tell you, uh, Milagro. But when somebody does that, those with uh, chicken and a bunch of things, then I get. Yeah, I hate that. 
Uh, but just yeah. the spaghetti is like the normal way. I don't like it because it looks, it sounds like, well, it looks like that. That's not delicious. Okay. Oh, so, no. um, thank you so much for sharing. Uh, enjoy okay, the rain. Sir. Enjoy the rain. I'm sorry for you that you're working, right? But the ones that we have at home, enjoy the rain. And we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, sir. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye.